Hey, how are you? Somebody asked me, should software developers use chat GPT or any other AI based tool for coders? Short answer is of course, of course, any new technology that becomes available should be explored by developers. Don't get religious about these things. I've been coding since 1994 and over that period of time, I've seen new technologies come into the game and I've seen technologies leave the game. And from what I've seen, for the most part, if you can identify an interesting new technology and jump into it early, that will just give you an advantage in the marketplace as a developer. Now, let me emphasize, you have to identify the relevant technology. Sometimes, not sometimes, many times, there are technologies that will come out and they just fizzle out and they go nowhere. So you don't wanna jump into something too early and you don't want to jump into something too fringe, something that might, well, something that might not actually go anywhere. Now, how do you judge that? That's the trick. How do you judge if a technology is going to actually have a major impact or not? And which technology should you jump into uh, to get some sort of advantage in, uh, in the game of development? That's a tricky question because nobody has a crystal ball. And it's, sometimes it's very difficult to see where things are going to go. Here are uh, some tips that come off the top of my head. Number one, if the new technology that comes out doesn't require a massive investment on your part, then I would be more likely to jump into it. If the new technology that comes out doesn't make you dependent on anything in the medium long term, then I would jump into it. So for example, before I would jump into a brand new framework or programming language, I would be more likely to jump into a new assistive technology like chat GPT or some other AI technology that might help you code mm -hmm. simply because the code generators like the chat GPT and so on, they're just creating code that you can use in whatever language you want to work with, whether it be Python or C sharp or JavaScript, etc. Whereas if you jump into a brand new language, that's something where you become independent on that. So if you jump into some new language or some new framework that you're not sure if it's going to get wide adoption, then you might find yourself with uh, technology that gets abandoned and then you're in trouble. I've had that happen to me in the past where I would leverage uh, frameworks or uh, software tools that I thought were the best. And perhaps they were the best, I don't know. But the market didn't think so. And for whatever reasons, the technology slowly faded. And now I'm stuck with a code base with a technology that's no longer being supported. Uh, it's difficult to find developers to maintain it and all the other downfalls of being uh, in a technology that uh, is no longer relevant. With chat GPT, because it is an assistive technology, its output is basically whatever you want it to be. So you can use any of the mainstream languages that are out there. You look at the top 10 usual suspects, right? JavaScript, Java, C Sharp, C++, C, PHP, uh, outside of programming, SQL, and of course, Python is another programming language, et cetera, et cetera. So these uh, technologies, uh, excuse me, using JetGPT to generate code or to help assist you in the development of applications uh, in any of these established technologies, that's cool. So. Short answer, well, not so short. I would use chat GPT if you can get on it. I tried logging on a few times, it's always full. That's temporary. But if it could speed up the process, it could help you, if it could help you write apps more quickly, more effectively, damn, damn sure you should use it. For sure you should use it, no question about that. I talked about this in a recent video where I mentioned how in my early days in, in Java, this is back in the mid 90s, I, for the first two years as a professional Java developer, I refused to use an IDE, an integrated development environment. I even refused to use code editors. I would just use Notepad and then compile using the command line tools, Javac, you know. Finally, I broke down and I said, okay, I'm gonna use an IDE. I thought I was cheating using an IDE. It's insane, by the way. You, should, you don't have to think, you shouldn't think that way. Any tool that makes your coding easy, and less, bug, less, uh, and, and less bugs in the code, that's not cheating, that's being a smart developer. Anyway, I finally got to using an IDE, a uh, brand new one, and it really supercharged my coding ability. Not only that, it actually allowed me to write better Java code because 
it wrote cleaner co it wrote uh, codes with less, it wrote the Java with less bugs and uh, well less typos rather so there was less bugs it actually helped me to uh, to find particular libraries I was looking into because you know code completion you know type in the, the first few keywords and bang 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 it would give me my list of methods in a particular class that was uh, whether in my own object structure or something native to Java anyhow point being, is when I embraced new technology that supported my efforts to code, then my productivity shot up. Chat GPT just takes us to a whole new level. So don't ignore it. Developers should look at it. I'll answer a question that's probably in the back of many people's heads. Is it going to replace development? No, not at all. Only beginner developers think this because uh, they don't understand that writing the code is a very small part of the process of building good systems. And though chat GPT can write out a bunch of code and give you answers and stuff, there's so much more to development way beyond the coding that I don't see AI as a threat, whether it be chat GPT or any other tool for many, many, many years to come. And as I said before, and I've said it, and I'll say it many times, way before an AI could develop an application, it will replace truck drivers, Uber drivers, it will replace accountants, it will replace uh, writers, it will replace uh, bookkeepers, it will, rep it will replace so many other jobs that society will have to contend with that long before developers are replaced, simply because of the complexity involved in development. In fact, developers become more and more valuable over time because as the system becomes more and more uh, technology-oriented, and more and more technology dependent, good developers are just going to become more valuable. All right, I hope this helps. My name is Steph. Some people call me Uncle Steph. I'm a code mentor. More than coding, I am a software developer mentor and career mentor. You want to check it out, unclesteph.com.